guys, welcome to The Awakening. Today I'm in the garden, the allotment, and I've just noticed we planted some beetroot. You saw they were tiny. Look how high already in the last couple of days. These ones and these ones. Isn't this amazing? I don't know what's going to happen to the kale. We'll wait and see. We've got to dig up all the roots. As I said, the awakening today is about mental health. It's about the la getting rid of the stigma. It's about an email that I got yesterday telling me that I'm hurting vulnerable people because I'm in my truth. So, let's talk about the darkness first. Let's talk about the fact, let's talk about this email. So this email came from a so-called mental health advocate. It was very professionally done. You know, really professional, knew how to spell. They have their ear to the ground, they told me, whoever they are. They mentioned Charlie Ward. <laughs> they mentioned Q. They mentioned the Federation of Light Beings. And I thought to myself, how do they know all of this about me? They said, I'm spreading conspiracy theories and I'm endangering mentally ill people's lives and I have a responsibility to not upset vulnerable people. Okay? So when I saw that, I thought, first of all, they're spying on me because how did they know? You know, if they went on to Moving On TV and they saw my programs, they could see Charlie Ward is on there, yes. They could see all the stuff about Q. But how would they know about the Federation of Galactic Lights? The only way they could know that is they know what groups I belong to on Facebook. And that's a little bit disconcerting, isn't it? I'll have to go back onto my uh, posts and see where did I tag the Galactic Federation of Light because that's where these people are. Maybe they must be on my Facebook. So one of my friends on my big Facebook, which I've got nearly 4,000 friends, is spying on me. Okay, so that's nice, isn't it? They co and they're saying what they say. So today, I want to tell you from the heart, do not buy in to mental illness anymore, because that is their parameter. They've decided that you are mentally ill, or that is mentally ill, or she is mentally ill because you do not fit the parameters of society because you have an opinion of your own because you're shocked because you were abused quite a lot of you were abused John Wedge is doing amazing work on that and I'm going to go on there and talk about my recovery because you weren't allowed to work and work is so important because you're grieving you have loss you had difficult childhoods and you have addictions and you're every single person then is mentally ill. There is not one person in this world that is not mentally ill. And these people that stand above us and tell us that we are mentally ill and we have to be medicated and numbed and shut up and wear a mask are the worst of all. These psychiatrists that pack you full of crap medication instead of talking to you, asking you how you feel. I was very lucky when I went into the therapeutic community, there was no medication. I had to feel my feelings, okay? So to me, what I'm trying to say to you today, and this is the light, is celebrate the fact that you are an amazing, unique human being that is suffering from the conditioning and, and everything that society has done to you. You are not mentally ill. 1% of you is really mentally ill. 1% of you, but when you look at that lot that have destroyed our world, that lot that are killing and, and destroying innocents and children and doing what their masters are telling them to do, that lot that are telling innocent people to wear a mask and anyone who wears a mask, you're going to get sick because the bacteria will build up inside the mask. You can't breathe. Oxygen, like Ralph Smart, breathing in that good ass prana, baby. They're gonna call Ralph Smart mentally ill. 
They're going to call everyone that doesn't conform to their lies mentally ill. Okay? If you're different. So I'm telling you now, you are unique, you are amazing, you are beautiful, you are not mentally ill. That lot that is killing children and hurting innocents and putting innocent babies, sticking needles in them with every kind of poison you can imagine, they are the sick ones. Those are ones that are sitting there watching EastEnders, watching the mainstream media, thinking, oh my God, you're going to have to wear goggles now because they're telling me they are the sick part of the system. Anyone who propagates this system, they are the 1%. They are more than mentally ill. So from now on, if anyone sends me an email and tells me I'm a fake bad bitch, hallucinating, disillusional, mentally ill, you guys are the ones that need the help. And my heart goes out to you because I don't want you to suffer and you must be suffering and so scared. If you can say that Q is a conspiracy theory now, well, then I really don't know what to say to you. If you think that Charlie Ward is not genuine, then I don't know what to say to you. You're not going to survive in the new world. We are. We are because we are here working in the ground. We are here and I'm telling you the truth. I will not accept this label of mental illness ever again. BPD, Borderline Personality Disorder, as I'm going to prove in Encounters, the musical, and with the song, a little bit of agoraphobia, a little bit of OCD, a little bit of claustrophobia. That's BPD, a little or a lot of depression, laced with it's all about me, narcissism. A cup of Tourette's, 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 now what comes next? That's BPD, a little bit of autism, a little of AD or ADHD, a cup of paranoia. Are you looking at me? <laughs> That's BPD. Now add in schizoid tendencies and make it all about me. Narcissism. A spoon of manic state's got a lot on our plates, like a monkey brain that I cannot train. That's BPD. And it's all about me and OCD and PTSD, that's BPD. You show me one person that's not got one of those symptoms. I'm going to prove it in Encounters. Borderline personality disorder was an excuse to over-medicate innocent people, to give them masses and masses of symptoms and to call them mentally ill, to put them in a little box away from society and to tell them to shut up. Most of the people that I know that were diagnosed are healers, mediums, the most incredible people. Now, 1% of those people, yeah, they may be really sick. And yes, they may need a, you may need a little bit of medication. Fair enough. But for God's sake, check the packet. And if the medication says to you, if you take this, you're going to get panic attacks. That's what they want, because then you go back and you say, I've got panic attacks now, and guess what? They're going to give you more medication. And if you check the label, that label will tell you you're going to have a bladder that won't function. Oh, I'm really, I've come back to the doctor, doctor, doctor. I can't go to the loo anymore. I'm in so much pain. Oh, really? Oh, what, what symptoms have you got? I've got a really bad stomach. Oh, we've got a medication for that. Here you go. You take that, my darling. You go off and you get IBS, okay? You see where I'm going with this? Okay. And then suddenly your memory starts to go. You go back to the doctor. Doctor, I'm starting to get experiences where I'm losing my memory. I can't remember things. Oh, really? Did you check the packet that says memory loss? Oh, that's okay, my darlings. We'll give you something else. And on the packet it says, if you take this medication, you will never sleep again. Total insomnia. And you take it? Doctor, doctor, I've got really bad insomnia now. Do you see where I'm going with this? They created this. You need to detoxify. That's what I'm going to be doing. Do you know what? I had mineral tests and I found out I've got a huge amount of arsenic in my body. Yeah, Martin's been poisoning me. <laughs> I've got arsenic from all the rubbish. And I don't take medication. 
I've got too much sodium in my body, which is making me sick. Because of the fragment they gave me when I broke my leg, which burnt like hell. You don't do that to human beings. But I had no choice. I was in hospital. My leg was broken. I know different now. They wouldn't touch me. <laughs> but when you look at the packet of fragment, it says, Martin, it says that it's, they're giving it to you to stop clotting. But when you check the ingredients, the ingredients are actually there to give you a clot. Okay, have I woken you up now? <laughs> if anybody ever keeps sending me from Moving On Theatre these stupid emails where they will not give me a name because they're too cowardly to say this is my name and can we talk, I'm going to fight back a million percent harder the next day. You don't know what an indigo is. I have a mission to wake you up. <laughs> My mission is to wake you up. My mission is to get you to stand up and say, we do not consent to your poisons anymore. We're going to grow our own food. We're going to take back our lives like we are. We're going to create the best life possible every single day. Every single day. Oxygen. Get yourself some oxygen. Oxygen heals everything, everything, everything. But if it's a cold day, please wrap up warm and don't end up with a cold or a virus. Anyway, if you're very vulnerable and you're watching this, I love you. Please watch How to Stay Sane in a Crazy World. Don't get too hungry, too angry, too lonely or too tired. That's the beginning of your recovery. If you follow these things that I teach you, and take a little bit of medication but please check the packet check the packet and if it says on there if i take this i'm going to get headaches then question it if it says on there i'm going to get massive panic attacks then question it don't come back to me and say you told me not to take medication i'm telling you do whatever you whatever you want but check the packets please I know someone who was taking 50 pills a day. They never check the packets and on one day they check the packets. I'm going to end this by saying that the side effect on the packet was death. Alright, say no more. Let's do a card. How to stay sane in a crazy world. These are the cards I channeled after I came out of the therapeutic community. These cards are common sense cards. You can live by them. And with a tiny bit of medication without the side effects, if you need help, I know people that keep me sane every single day. You're not insane, guys. Every single person is walking around with shock from things they've learned from their families, their friends. And those who are killing children, getting us to go to war, aborting full-blown babies, and wanting to blow you all up and put you into mass and setting out radiation to destroy you completely and sticking a needle in your arm with puppy DNA and, and God knows what to make you sicker and sicker and sicker. They are the lunatic megalomaniacs that the, we have let the world create. All right? They are the ones that are insane. Those of you that go on as actors and sell your souls to that and give your children to be sacrificed to that by transgendering them. They are insane. You're not insane. So from now on, you need to wake up. This is no insanity. All right, let's pick a card. Walk away. Today it's time to walk away. Walk away from these idiots. I'm walking away just for some space so I can assess. Walk away into nature and get yourself some oxygen 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 if you need help and you're not coping please contact me I can teach you how to come out of panic attacks I do it ask my husband I can ask I can teach you how to get rid of PTSD noise PTSD that comes from your childhood I love you from the heart and these idiots that think that I'm upsetting you by telling you the truth this goes out to everyone who's been diagnosed with a mental health issue. You're beautiful, you're unique, you're wonderful. You have a right to be who you are. Ring your bell. Q is bringing us all together so we wake up. 
Charlie Ward is telling us about a wonderful new world called Nasara and Gisara. Do your research where every one of you has a right to be the unique, amazing human being that you have a right to be. All your debts are going to be gone. You're going to have a beautiful home. But you're not going to make that happen unless you stand up now and say, I do not consent. I ain't having it. Where we go on, we go all, and we are protected by the galactic being of light, call them God, beings, whatever. These people that email me would have burned me at the stake for being a witch. And you. Examine your loyalties, my darlings. Examine your loyalties. Love you lots. Walk away from things that are not serving you. Please subscribe, share and like and come on board with me on TV. Make your dream come real. Whoever you are, whatever you are, you have a right to, to sing, to dance, to act, to come out of whatever it is. Like that beautiful little leaf there. Those leaves are coming up. They're growing. They're, they're thriving. And so are we. Where we go on, we go all. I love you lots. Please share this everywhere. Please, they don't know what an indigo is. The minute you tell an indigo not to do something, that indigo will go and spread even more truth. Love you, bye. Thank you. What would I do without my lovely love? La, 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 la. That's it, now you're gonna to grow to be beautiful, beautiful tomatoes. <laughs> the awakening. <laughs>